guys. Oh my gosh. Rainy season's here. It's kind of like the Game of Thrones with the Starks. Winter is coming. Rain season is coming. Well, rain season is here. According to this, we've had just over three inches of rain in the last three days. It's been raining every day from I think noon on into the night. So pretty much my time to do things outside is restricted to morning time, maybe sometimes early afternoon, but pretty much I gotta get my stuff done in the morning. Garden is doing really, really well right now. Take a gardener seed challenge, get a little sneak peek. Oh, no more. It's doing really good. We'll be having another video coming out with that soon for round two. Um, tomatoes are doing pretty good. We've got some coming in right now. Ooh, this one's white. Why is this one white? Interesting. Well, I guess this one's still ripening, but this one's still ripening, but these are doing pretty good. They're a little small. I need to uh, bring some compost in for them. But my uh, starter table is strong. This year I'm gonna be dabbling in selling starter plants at the local farmer's market. I found one here in town and I'm super excited so I don't have to drive an hour to the nearest farmer's market. So we're gonna be kind of dabbling in selling some heirloom starter plants. So I'm excited about that. So I'd say that the winter garden is starting to come to its closing. We have a few plants that are kind of still producing our jalapenos. I mean, they're short, but they are still producing. We uh, just recently got a harvest off. Actually, I need to pull this off because these are uh, the stems. I need to cut those off. But we are still getting a uh, harvest growing in. This one's not doing as well. I might go ahead and pull this one up. That or I tried seeing what would happen if I pruned them and they came back like this did. This one's just not doing well. I don't know why this one's not doing well. But um, I do have some bell peppers that I planted early this year. And so those are starting to get established and starting to produce. Um, still working on these, not as good. Oh, yep, I see some tiny baby ones coming in. Um, carrots, I need to harvest those. I'm a little bit behind on harvesting the carrots. We've got one, two, maybe three cabbages left to harvest out. Um, then we've got our cabbages that I didn't just pull up entirely in one of my past videos. You saw that I cut the head off and I'm letting them possibly create another head. That or might just let it go to seeds so that I can harvest the seeds. But bunching onions, doing good. It's a little bit bright over there so you might not be able to see it, but my ruby gem lettuce I'm letting go to seeds so I can harvest the seeds off that. And uh, then a lot of the stuff is gonna start coming out so we can start working on our summer garden. Because, I mean, our, I, I should have ripped all this up and started my spring garden, but you know, life happens. So, but the tomatoes that are, you see right now, these are actually my winter tomatoes. These are the tomatoes that I grew over the winter, so obviously they're not thriving. Um, we also have an issue where, let me step out of the sun, where where I'm standing right now is a shady patch during the midday. So, the tomatoes that are over here don't get as much sun as the tomatoes that are over here. Like this, this tomato that's doing really well. It's got a lot more fruit on it and more fruit and more fruit and more fruit back here in the back. And then my cherry tomatoes are just blowing up. I've got cherries popping up everywhere right now. And we actually had just had a harvest uh, I think last week where we pulled off a good chunk of tomatoes so they're doing really really well. Update on the pineapples still not ready to harvest but they are getting pretty good size to them. And then our blueberries are starting to ripen so we are super excited to uh, get to enjoy some blueberries soon. All nice and dry today. Hi, Annabelle. It's okay. I gave you chin scratches. You're being such a good mama. Yes, you are. So Annabelle is doing good. We gave her a CMPK paste um, as soon as we discovered that she had had Lexi, and she is doing good. 
And Lexi is nursing excellently, rotating between the four quarters. So we're not having to worry about if she's just milking some. Hi, little one. And she's already starting to be very friendly. We've been trying to come out and handle her on a routine basis. But she is, but she is doing excellent. Oh, look at you go, go girl, go. She is nursing like a champ. Why is your teeth orange like that? Whoops! You missed it. See, it's orange. She's doing really good. What are you doing? Hey, little Miss Lexi. She is sass, that is for sure. But she is so sweet. What you doing, Lexi? You get your breakfast? You getting your breakfast? That's such a good mama, Annabelle. She is a very good mama. So, like I said, we did the CMPK paste so that we knew she had her calcium. And then little Miss Lexi, we got the iodine on her umbilical cord. And she's looking really good and she's starting to get her little spunky self we're gonna let her eat feed the horses and then we'll uh, come back in and play with her a bit because she'll she'll run around and jump around and she's just full of sass and spunk and adorableness but we're giving them we're letting her have Annabelle's first uh, <clears throat> week or two of milk depending on how she's doing if she's looking like she's engorged, then I come in and I milk her out about a bit. And uh, I actually, because I, I didn't bring out, I don't bring out my stuff right now, um, I'll give it to the, to uh, Axel's posse. I'll mix it in with their alfalfa pellets and their grains. But I would say that things are going very good. Hey! <laughs> Hi! Hi, dear little one. Oh, you're so curious. All the uh, horses are happily munching away. Penny is a dirty mess from all the rain. This is the joys of keeping a white pony. They get very dirty. So, shut the gate, buddy. So soon we are gonna be letting Annabelle and little Miss Lexi out to pasture during the day and then stalling them up at night until we can get a kind of a calf stall enclosure built where we can pen up Lexi once she gets a little bit older at night and mom, Annabelle, can continue grazing throughout the night so that we can start actually calf sharing. But we don't have a barn, so that makes things a little bit complicated. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just working on uh, kind of imprinting on her trust, doing some trust exercises, letting her know that we are safe. Oh, there's the chin scratches. Oh, yeah. So, over the course of the next few weeks, we're going to just work on this and we're going to have a brand new rope halter because the calves' halters would definitely not fit her. She's way too tiny. So, we'll be getting a new rope halter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll be getting a new rope halter in and we'll start work on halter training her. Yes. Oh, you are just love. Mm -hmm. ah, yes, you are. You are just love. Yes, you are. You gonna let me snuggle with you like your mama does when you're older? You gonna let me snuggle with you out in the pasture like your mama does? So, and we just do the trust exercises, just pet her all over. Let her know that we do not mean her any ill will. She is safe with us. She can trust us. Oh my goodness, yes. Oh yes. Oh, do I get kisses? Oh, do I get kisses? Oh, do I get kisses? Yes. Oh, you are just the precious. You gonna snuggle with me? You give me boobs? You give me kisses? You give me kisses? 
She's starting to uh, trust us a little bit more. She's starting to come up to us a little bit more. Oh, are you curious? What is the, oh, oh, what is that? <laughs> oh, she's curious. You've piqued her curiosity. There you go. Just gentle and slow. There you go. That's a good girl, Annabelle. You're such a good mama. Hey, Lexi, let's get you playing. Come on. Hey. <laughs> there you are. There's the little spunk. Excited to be out there on the pasture. That's a good girl, Annabelle. Hi, little Lexi. See, look, she's sniffing you. That's good. That's a good mama, Annabelle. Oh, Hi, Abby. here comes the squad. <laughs> Hi, Abby. Hi, Abby. Did you guys hear all the commotion up here? Hi, Chloe. Hi, pretty Chloe. Hi, pretty girl. Did you guys hear all that commotion up here? You hear all the commotion going on up here? Hi. Little Lexi. <laughs> Little Lexi. Oh, I need more. Mama, feed me. Hi, Lexi. Hi. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, 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 sass. <laughs> really this is her first day in the world. Oh, what are they doing over there? Are you curious? Oh, 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 oh. She says, nope, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. <laughs> Lexi, what you doing, honey? Here, here you go. Oh, almost. <laughs> it's okay, I'm buddy. Ready. I'm not ready. She's not I'm ready, ready yet. You're such a good mama, Annabelle. Letting us come in here and hang out with little Lexi. There you go. Just nice and gentle and slow. She'll get used to us. See, look. See? She's sniffing you. Let her sniff you. You go. Good job. Good job. Oh, Lexi. Good job. The sass. <laughs> and there goes the sass. <laughs> We're gonna let them relax. We gotta get Annabelle her hay, and then here soon we will be letting these two out onto pasture and starting the milking routine again. I am ready for some fresh milk again. That will be awesome. What are you most excited about having a calf? Hmm. That I get to play with her and that we get fresh milk. Yeah, fresh milk. High five. <laughs> and Luke looks ready to be off of his food. Tell him what a good boy he is. Good boy. He's a good boy. <laughs>